guys, it's Kelly Shalal, registered dietitian behind Hungry Hobby. And today we are here making a super easy recipe for spicy tuna hummus cakes. So let's get started. Here I have, this is two cans of tuna. And I know somebody will ask, so this is wild caught whole line skipjack tuna I got from Sprouts, okay? The original recipe was a sponsored post by Wild Selections. I love them too. And uh, I've done all kinds of other stuff. Actually, one second. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this recipe again, but I'm gonna try and see if I can get the baby to eat it by making this chunk like tuna in water that is made with no salt added. So you can see this one's no salt added. So when I get done making it for you guys, I'm gonna make it again, and I'm gonna try and see if I can get the baby to eat it. Worst case, Mr. Hungry will eat it, so. But anyways, okay, so two cans of tuna, okay? And next we're just gonna start dumping things in. So here, let me use my hands, okay? I have one small roasted sweet potato, not roasted, microwaved, smashed sweet potato. And it should be about two thirds cup. I measured that before I started, so eh. Whenever I have a recipe like that, I just kind of guesstimate. And then I've got some roasted red pepper hummus. Now when I make this for the baby, I'm gonna make it with original hummus. But this is, we need two thirds cup, so. It's gonna be about this much. And yes, I'm using my Instapot measure because, pile of hummus, because I'm out of, legit out of measuring cups. It's been a day over here. So next, and yes, I'm reading off my recipe. We've got one little chopped green onion going in. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna put that in the baby's version or not. I will definitely share how it went when I make those, but these are just such a great little like pop in the fridge, in the freezer, have any time protein rich snack for salads or to go with a veggie or whatever that I wanted to share them with you guys. They're seriously so good. All right, and now we've got one half chopped jalapeno. Actually, I'm gonna turn this. You can look at my nasty area over here. These aren't quite chopped enough, so I'm gonna kinda make them a little bit smaller because we want them to be really finely chopped so that, you know, they spread out and just get like one giant jalapeno chunk. Obviously, I will leave the jalapeno chunk out when I'm burning for the baby. So you could use a whole one. I did de-seed for the most part and de-vein the jalapeno because Mr. Hungry can barely do it. So I'm just happy he could tolerate jalapenos. So there's that. And now we need two large eggs. These are eggs I bought from Costco a little while ago, almost a couple weeks ago. You can see my Costco haul on uh, my IGTV stories or on YouTube. You can see my video I did on that. But that's what these are from. They're just brown organic eggs from Costco. And now we've got one fourth teaspoon onion powder and one fourth teaspoon garlic powder. I'm gonna add that in and then we'll mix it up. And that's, and that's it for ingredients for the recipe. Super fast and easy. And then I'm gonna put them in little muffin tins and bake them so that they're individually portioned. So they're super yummy. Okay, so I've got my muffin tin with silicone liners here. So that's super important because it just makes the process of cleaning up so easy. And I seriously use these like 700 times a day. So they're well worth the $10 or whatever that was required to purchase them. And now I'm spraying some avocado oil on the liners just to make it even easier. And now all we're gonna do is spoon them in. So this recipe that I just showed you makes about 12 little individual baked tuna cakes. So good. Okay, so now here they are. So now I'm just gonna bake them for 35 to 40 minutes until they're set and then they're ready to eat. 
easy protein, healthy carbs, delicious recipe to eat literally anytime you want. It's one of my favorite things to do with canned tuna. So I'm gonna go put this in the oven. Okay, so if I was whispering before, it's because somebody was sleeping, but it's not now. So these just came out of the oven and before we get on with the day, I wanted to show you what they look like. So let's do it. So here's the ones I made us. So that's the recipe I showed you. And then I made some for him without jalapenos and green onion. So we'll see how that goes. Excuse you. Let me show you what these look like when I take them out. <laughs> okay, so we're all done. And I wanna show you what they look like out. So that's what they look like. You can see the steam coming off of it. They are freezer friendly. You can freeze them. I would cool them first, obviously, <laughs> but you can freeze them. You can keep them in the fridge. I like to eat mine over salad or just grab one when I'm really hungry for a protein, healthy snack. <laughs> and it's really delicious. So yes. let me know if you tried this recipe. <sighs> And <laughs> make sure to like Hungry Hobbies, subscribe, follow, share, all that stuff. And let me know if uh, you want to see more recipes or what kind of recipes you want to see. But this one is delicious and I hope you try it. All right, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.